Hey there guys, so today we're in our interview and uh, you'll have to deal with me because I had a long day and involved a lot of waiting. Um, set online for Zavanza Day. If you guys don't know, Cantillo Zavanza Day is an event that occurs every year from Cantillon, famous sour brewery uh, from Belgium. And um, waited in line for two hours, was locked out from Brooklyn, uh, in Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, in the sense that I waited in line and they sort of said, no more. And that happened. So, anyway, we're commiserating. I drank a lot of beer and we're drinking. So, fun beer. Let's go. Uh, this is Miko Bosque Charlie Brew. And uh, this is Le Bac Fol. Uh, I actually just reviewed a beer from them. Uh, I actually brought this also again from um, Montreal. And this is the Mad Cow, you know, Le Bac Fol. And, um, you know, so 9% Imperial Style. Let's say it again. 9% um, uh, 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 Milk Style. So, cheers. Reminds me a little bit of uh, normal. You get a big punch of like kind of like this like rum soaked kind of cherry, you know, this dark fruit covered in alcohol. Uh, this kind of, um, uh, you know, a lot of espresso bitterness, kind of chocolate. A little bit of uh, roasted malt, cheers. Wow. Oh, wow. What I noticed is that this beer offers a full palate. Um, after like reviewing obviously a lot of beer, is that you want to look for a full palate in beer. And this beer goes on and on and on. Mm. Front palate. You get a nice kind of dark fruit, kind of dried date, kind of, it tastes a little bit like normal, but just better, a lot better. Uh, better, um, kind of like a alcoholic kind of a cherry date kind of front palate, a nice kind of cher uh, uh, chocolate, uh, chunky chocolate that sort of, you know, fills out the palate, uh, a nice kind of espresso bitterness on the back end, a little bit of um, roasted malt and espresso kind of coffee, it cleans out the beer, um, a little bit of molasses, vanilla sort of comes in. It offers a lot of flavors. It's really delicious beer. Mmm. It's a killer beer. Wow. The mouth feels not super viscous. Medium, medium plus. Uh, 9%, you know, offers a decent mouthfeel. Uh, but the flavor is really where it's at. Oh, wow. Oh, it's killer. Yeah. A lot of flavor throughout. Um, yeah, this kills a lot of imperial stouts that America makes. Um, I'm not Canadian, but I'm willing to say if Canadian beer actually kills a lot of American beers. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Wow. I wish I actually bought some more. Um, this beer gets a 95 for me. Um, it's really good uh, for 9% beer. It's killing a lot of American beers. Like, you know, I mean, obviously, I personally prefer, obviously, like Marshall True Cove, Tempity, Founders Imperial, some beers like that. But one of the best Imperial salts. Um, that is quote unquote available, incredible stuff, and you know, one of the better non barrel aged styles. So, anyway, this is again a 95, incredible stuff. You go to if you guys go to uh Quebec, uh, Quebec or Montreal, definitely look out for Le Bac Foul, the Mad Cow. Um, yeah, and actually, <laughs> don't make the mistake in the sense that I mean, I don't know if it's a mistake, but I actually, I actually asked for some beers and I try to drop my literally a dozen of um, uh, French uh, phrases and the woman tried to speak to me in French and uh, <laughs> she put, uh, put sentences in front of me and uh, that was rough. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I just could not, I, I, I personally don't actually speak French. I just know a couple of phrases. I've been to Paris a couple of times. So that was fun. But I do recommend you guys try to learn some languages if you go to some places. That's fun. So actually, let me know if you guys have beer traveled and, uh, or if you've traveled and let me know guys, uh, about stories about beer. And the other uh, question I have for you guys is uh, whether you guys have been locked out of uh, beer events. You know, bottle release, a beer release of something at a bar. If you, got, if you guys have ever stood in line, waited for hours and go, all right, well, it's a waste of time. And uh, I've done that a couple of times, actually wasting my time trying to look for Pliny the Younger at Philadelphia. Waited online, did not get Pliny the Younger. 
and uh, craft beer has exploded. And uh, I might probably not do these events anymore because it is quite disappointing. And uh, so let me know what you guys know about these events and uh, languages. So until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.